Welcome back, YouTube. <laughs> it is a great day to be different. So that's what we are going to do today. We're going to show you guys how to be different. We have a transformation for you guys slightly. If you guys notice, he did have a lot of hair on top. But we are taking that right off. I believe I went in with the number four guard closed against the grain right there. As you can see, we're gonna knock all that bulk off. We're gonna go straight against it. Make sure it's nice and even. Going against the grain, make sure that it is even, in my opinion. So once we get it even, we're gonna lay everything down, brush, comb, Searching for any type of inconsistencies if we have to go back over with the foreguard. And then we are going to debulk some more. We wanted this to be a little bit lower. So we went in with the one and a half guard closed. And this time we are going with the grain. I like to start right there in the calic area. That way I can get a good idea of which way the hair grows. It gives me a sense of growth pattern. And once we establish how the hair grows, then we're gonna knock down the rest of the bulk. As you can see right there, we are going with the grain and it is going to be a drop fade, ball drop fade. So we are only going to debulk the top of the head. No need to debulk the entire head because we are going to be wasting time. Again, it is a ball drop fade. So we know that we're going to be balding out at the bottom of the head. So there's no need to debulk the entire head. We're only going to debulk the top. This is me prepping for the edge up. So I went in with the one guard all the way open just to debulk the front end. It is a little uneven. So I went ahead and debulked right there, laying it down just a little bit better. Again, we are prepping for the edge up during this process. And then we are going to throw some hairspray on it. This is gonna allow the hair to freeze. That way, whenever we come back for the lineup process, it should melt right on off. Okay, here goes the first step of the fade process. So again, it is a drop fade. So as you can see, I am contouring that drop in the back. So we're gonna start off punching in that bald line, balding it out, making sure it's nice, even and smooth, going over certain areas more than once if necessary, but creating that contour shape towards the back. As you can see right here. Next step, no guard all the way open. We're gonna go up about an inch. We're gonna go over certain areas multiple times. Use the brush to clean off any debris, but making sure that it is even. When you guys punch in these lines, you need to punch them in. Helps maintain the fade process. It gives you a really, really good guide. Next step, one guard, second notch. As you can see right there, we're gonna go up about another inch. Now here's, you can see those guidelines, real, real easy. They are punched in with no problems. Next step, one and a half guard. I usually don't use the one and a half guard, so this is maybe a little bit different compared to a lot of my other tutorials. The one and a half guard is not necessary a lot of the times, but with this hair texture, it really, really was. So we just lightened it up, as you can see. That one guard second notch line is still there, but it was lightened up just a little bit with the one and a half guard. Now this is where we're gonna start our detail process. One guard all the way open, and it's gonna take out the rest of that line that the one guard second notch set in. That line that the one and a half guard lightened up. As you can see, that line is pretty much gone. So we're gonna go behind it just a little bit more just to get the hair to lay down, make it look a little bit more even with the claw method. As you can see, it's not gonna make it less dark. It just lays the hair down a little bit more smoother in my opinion. Next step, half guard. We're gonna start off closed, work, while, work our way up midway, and eventually all the way open. Continuing with the feather, continuing your feather technique, using a lot of your corners, attacking a lot of the dark spots. And as you can see, those lines are coming out with ease. This is a very, very tough texture. I'm not even gonna lie. Very, very difficult. And you'll notice during this fading process, I do have to go back to the steps, to certain steps that I did previously, 
just because again it is a tough texture so getting an even smooth look after a couple strokes pause sheesh sheesh <laughs> just after a cup after going over the hair a couple times it's not easy with this hair texture we're gonna knock down to the no guard we're gonna start off close knock out that ball line work our way up midway and eventually all the way open as you'll see sometimes i have to over exaggerate the clipper using nothing but the corners attacking nothing but the dark spots and it all comes together beautifully as you can see right there all the lines are gone now i did stretch this fade a little bit more than usual i felt like it contoured his head a little bit better but that is blended and we are ready to go to the other side I'm gonna show you guys the side in the back just so you guys know I didn't skip it. Here goes the other side and we will be back for the edge up process. We're just gonna bring this whole thing together beautifully. Welcome back to the edge up process. As you can see, I started right in the middle. We're gonna start walking into the left side. Does not matter which side you walk it to first. Me, I'm normally standing on the left side, so that is why I start on that side based off, based off of the way my station is set up. But as you can see, you guys remember, I, I did prep this hairline with the hairspray. So that is why it is melting off with ease. Once we walk it to the left, we're gonna walk it to the right to get it to match. And we're just gonna meet it in the middle. Always going back to the beginning, to the middle, where we started, making sure it's nice and even. And we're gonna attack the vertical bar on the left side. Throw some pencil on it for some contour. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna attack the vertical bar. Throw some pencil on it for some contour here in just a second. There, gonna make sure it's nice and even. 
and then we are going to move on to the enhancement process we're going to start off with a wet foundation first this is going to allow the dry fibers to stick to follow up with the dry fibers right behind that as you can see right there a little blurry but you'll be able to see it a little bit better right here again wet foundation first the wet foundation gives the dry fibers something to stick to we're going to follow up with the dry fibers this is going to fill in a little bit better get rid of that wet shiny look that the wet enhancements leave behind and gives it much more of a natural appeal this is very important for haircuts if you're taking photos or videos like this i'm going to slap some hot sauce on it it's going to allow me to push that pencil over just like that to give it that razor blade look without having to use a razor blade also going to allow me to clean up any overspray of the wet or dry enhancements same thing on the other side wet foundation first and follow right up with the dry fibers to get rid of that wet shiny look easy day easy day I think um, applying the enhancements is a skill on its own. Applying the enhancements is a, a skill on its own. It's not easy to get it that, give it that natural look, that smooth, even look, that non-cakey, way too much enhancement look to be able to make it blend and pop and complement, enhance the haircut is not a, is not easy. It is a skill on its own. And it is a it's a very important skill in my opinion to be able to learn especially in these days i got a lot of clients that come to me and ask hey you got that in hey you got that black stuff hey you got that black stuff i want some of that hey you you got that pencil i, I want some of that and some of them ask for the pencil all the way across the edge of it is a look that especially the youth is going for this is what they want so i learned it to be able to apply it and i believe it has definitely stepped my game up but we're gonna give them the mirror we're gonna get the nod of approval and you guys remember what he came in looking like yes sir you guys remember <laughs> but he came to be different yes sir that is different Jeez. that is different appreciate you guys for staying tuned don't forget to like share subscribe comment do whatever you guys got to do to keep me on your timeline man it is crispy and that is crispy we out of here peace